When planning a lesson, there are three things that are essential. You need to be absolutely clear about what the students are learning and how they will demonstrate that learning. You also need to be planning for the class that you have in front of you and you also need to ensure that in the context of teaching science or technology or PE that you carry out an appropriate risk assessment and that's in your plan. At Warden Park School, science teacher Nigel Regan has to plan meticulously and also carry out a risk assessment. In the lesson that I'm doing today, I have bullet pointed in the plan that I will be starting with some, some closed recap questions and they will just come naturally to me. Joe, can you ask someone to give you a, a symbol? Uh, which group is the halogens, Tom? Uh, group zero. Okay, you want to go for a question, Tom? Uh, yeah, uh, what's the first element in the halogens? Joe. Today, Nigel is looking at the periodic table with particular reference to sodium and potassium. We need to identify the features and properties of those elements. We need to be able to describe how those elements behave when they're reacting with water. So I'm going to put a piece of this sodium on the water and what I want you to do, I want you to tell me something that helps to describe what's going on. Louise? Um, it's reacting with the water. Yep. Moving. Good. Now, potassium. Okay. Can you tell me one similarity already? Uh, it's quite soft. Good. Soft again. Cut with a knife. And let's see what it does on the water. Whoa. 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 The challenge is then to explain why their behaviour is similar, but also why it's slightly different. A similarity, please. Brett? Uh, they both float on the water and they're both reacting with the water. Good. A difference? Um, one created a flame, whereas mm. the other didn't. OK. Right, I'm going to pause there, make this safe. What I would like you to do is go back to your place. I needed to think very carefully about how they were going to move around the lesson because I needed to position in the classroom chemicals that needed to be quite secure. I also needed to position the equipment carefully the students would use. Gentle, gentle. Yeah. Oh no. That electron, as you go down the groove, that outside electron that's doing all the reacting, is getting further and further from the nucleus. Hugh? Because the uh, free electron gets further and further away from the nucleus, making it more reactive. It is. But so what? <laughs> so that the challenge now in the last five minutes is can we use this information? to suggest why they behave in the same way, but at the same time, why they're slightly different. So, did Nigel feel that everything went to plan? It probably wouldn't have changed the lesson plan significantly, but what I would have liked to have done in a couple of places is picked up the pace of the lesson a little bit. Yeah, occasionally it dropped. The real challenge came at the end, and I would have liked to have introduced a little bit more challenge into the lesson, but that would probably have meant running the lesson over a bit. Take a bit of a risk. Where do you go? It's important I find that later, don't let me forget. Don't play safe with your planning, because if you play safe, what you would end up doing is delivering a very well taught lesson, and that may neglect the learning. If you allow the children to speak, if you encourage independent learning and group work, then what you will probably be doing is promoting the learning, and quite often you may need to change your plan during the lesson. Thank you.